Hey guys, so today we are playing a game called Hackers Join the Cyber War. Now this is a pretty new game, but I just thought it seems pretty darn cool, so... Uh, and it's a really nice multiplayer strategy game. And it's very similar to, I mean, some people were saying it's kind of like, you know, Clash of Clans meets more like a sort of computer science-y, like, IT kind of realm. And, you know, I think that's, I, I think it's just a really unique take on the normal sort of, like, defense, base defense, you know, multiplayer game genre on the iOS. So... I'm a little ways in here, and I'm not too far in, but I understand, you know, the general basics of this game, and I thought we would just jump right in to one of the sort of scenarios here. Now, this one called University Mainframe is going to get me 100-bit sort of B-coins if I can complete it. So we'll just jump right into this scenario here, and basically in this game, you sort of, you build your network and try to make it as secure as possible. And then you try and attack other people's networks and steal their B coins, which are used for like research and other things, and as well as money, because they also have cash that they've made through server farms or, you know, stolen from other people, and you can steal that back to use for your own purposes for like upgrading buildings and upgrading the core. Now, this thing in the middle here is the core that guy right there and that's but I see I have to start through one of these red things on the ends the internet connections so I want to pick the one that's closest to the core if possible but see I don't see mm, I don't I, I kind of like I, I think all of these are pretty similar so we'll just go right here in this connection and start putting things down so this thing right here will attack you can place various things you have like viruses and different types of you know programs that you've compiled which can attack the other players or the missions uh, their nodes in their network so that's what I'm doing right here is attacking this one and it's taking a while because I'm only using one virus thing to attack this node if I used more I think it would go a little bit quicker but I'm just trying to save some of them for the other parts although it's claiming I only have 1 minute 47 until the network reboots so I'm like okay well maybe I should use one more of these but see I'm only attacking I'm not attacking a defensive node right here that's a that's a compiler I think so and that's an evolver and either one of them are defensive nodes so I don't really need a whole lot to attack them with but apparently I need more than one thing <laughs> but I think we should take this over pretty shortly here and once we've broken in we're just gonna force our way straight up through the evolver and then once we get to the evolver I will place down an ice wall alright let's put two of these guys down Hopefully I can do this in a minute. I'm getting worried here. Okay, good. I'm going to put down an ice wall, and then I'll put down two of these guys. And what they're going to do is these orange things can attack multiple nodes at once. They attack all of the related connected nodes at the same time. And see, I don't have a lot of time here, but I'm trying to get to the core as fast as possible. So as soon as I take over this sentry... Oh. Well, okay, as soon as I take over the sentry, I'm going to pop an ice wall. Maybe I didn't need to do that. <laughs> but. And we're just going to try and hit the core as fast as possible. Did I get it? Yes. Okay, well. I think I technic. Oh, I have to download the thing. Oh, man, this is going to be close. Nine seconds. Oh, I have to download that thing. Finish it downloading. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, maybe. Did I get it? Yes. <laughs> Mission completed. I didn't have full network control, but I still got it anyways. Um, that was very close. That was closer than it should have been. I think the time limit on that was kind of short. 
If I'd realized it was going to be that short, I would have gone with like, you know, using more viruses at the start. Because you can only, you can use just one if it's not like a defensive node, but it will take a while. Which it did, and you know, you only have a certain amount of time before the network reboots. And, um, so I had to be fast with that one right there. So I think, uh, let's go attack a player now. As you can see, I got 100 B coins from that, and those are very useful. Like, I get some of them from these farms down here, but not too many. As usual, the best way to get resources in these types of games is to attack other players, not so much generating them on your own. Because they want to incentivize you to attack other people. If you could just get all the resources yourself, then there wouldn't be any incentive to do any PvPing. So, yeah, here's my current base layout. The idea here is just to force them... Uh, you can have your core a maximum of, which is like your HQ, a maximum of nine nodes back. So I wanted mine to be as far back as possible and have the connections where the player has to start from be, you know, as far away as possible. And then ha obviously have the defensive nodes, which are like the turret and the two sentries be between them. But you don't want to apparently have them right next to the net connections either because then... The defensive nodes can actually take back, if you attack them too weakly, they can take back these other things here, but they can't take back the net connections. So there's no point in having the turret right next to the net connections, because then it wouldn't have any ability to really fight back. It would only be able to resist. And you wouldn't be getting the maximum potential out of it. So anyways, let's move on and go attack someone now. Because that's what this is all about, right? So here you can see the various people around the world you can attack or you can watch it like a video up here to get some credits, some free credits or in the bottom right you can spend a little bit of cash to reset. You can reset the players who are available to you. But I see these options here are probably pretty easy. We'll just go with this guy for the sake of things. <laughs> probably not very exciting, but it'll be a good Okay, I mean this guy's base is pretty easy. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is very, way too easy. Okay, so, well, I found us a better opponent here. And this guy, Slayer, I think, he has a lot of, he has a lot of loot here. So, this is going to be a challenging matchup. But let's just jump right in and see what we can do. Maybe we can take over his network. Um, I'm liking the looks of things to start it out. Wait. Oh, that is so... That is so tricky. Okay. Well... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to this one, and we're gonna just... Spend one of these to take this thing over, and then as soon as I take this over, I'm gonna put down... An ice wall, and then I'm gonna use... I'm gonna go like this. Dude, I hope I can get this. This is risky. This is pretty risky right here. I don't know if that's strong enough to actually take over those nodes. That's that's like the main issue here. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can take over the B coin factory. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. If I manage to take that over, I'll pop down another ice wall no oh yo i gotta wait for it to i think it'll take it back over this isn't over yet oh it's applying it to the wrong one yeah apply to the other oh Okay, this wasn't totally what I was trying to do, but this could still work. I'm taking all his B coins, guys. I'm taking all his B coins. I'm taking all of his B coins. I'm taking them all. What's going to go on here is the question. I think I took down some of his defenses. I just can't see what's going on because... Wait, is that connected to... 
Yes, okay, we're gonna get the core, guys. We're gonna get the core. <laughs> I thought there was no way I was gonna possibly get this. Like, no way. I don't know how I managed to take this over. Oh, no, 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 no. I still have two things left. There's a chance. There is a chance. Um, I will just go for it from here. Oh no, that wasn't connected. I'm so. This is such a confusing network. He did this so well. This was so well done. Alright, well, I'm not going to actually win this hack, but I did get all his stuff. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So I'm still calling this a successful hack. <laughs> I'm still putting this in this video because this is a pretty darn good amount of loot right here. Like, I have to be happy with this. I ran out of stuff, so. We're going to end that hack. I lost power, but I gained a lot of cash there, relatively, and a lot of B-Coins, too. So that was a good hack. And, I mean, as you can see, it's a very it's a very sort of, like, dynamic, and, you know, you have to think a lot in these matches. See, I like these things, though. They have a lot of these sort of, like, random instances of things. And these little scenarios... But anyways, thanks for watching, and I will have more videos out on Hackers soon.